Welcome to SellerAmp, your go-to sourcing tool for all Amazon businesses and business models. If you've already signed up, you should get an activation email that will walk you through how to set up your account. If not, go to selleramp.com, get an account today so you can follow along with this video because I'm gonna be going through all of the new settings that SellerAmp has revamped or updated recently. SellerAmp has so many great resources and data that is gonna help you succeed in your Amazon business, but you need to have your settings set up the right way so SellerAmp can tailor its information to your specific business needs. So in this video, we're gonna walk through SellerAmp's new profile settings, all of the general settings that SellerAmp offers and the new ones that they've added, as well as the SAS panels that have been the same, but we're gonna look at how easy it is to navigate all of those things. And luckily, all of these settings are configurable with the mobile app, the web app, and in the Chrome extensions. So however you source, however you use SellerAmp, you're able to modify the settings and get the best information possible to help with your Amazon business. So I'm gonna be walking through the settings on the web app, which is very easy to see, it's full screen here. So if you wanna follow along, get on selleramp.com and go through the exact same steps with me. Right now, we're just on selleramp.com. This is their homepage here. And in the upper right corner, there's gonna be a dropdown that allows you to pick a couple different options. We have account, devices, settings, and integrations. One thing I wanted to show you before we jump into profiles is the devices tab. And this is gonna show you based on whatever subscription you have, whether it's getting started or getting serious, how many devices are using your SellerAmp account, right? If you have the Getting Serious account, you can have up to five different devices and users on your account, which is great if you have employees, it's great if you have multiple devices that you're sourcing from. But if we open this up, we can see how many mobile installs we have, we can see how many extension installs we have. And again, you can remove them if you know that you have something on an old laptop or an old phone and it's taking up one of the five slots remove it, and then you can add a new one, which is super nice. So let's look at the first thing, which is the profiles. And you're gonna get there by clicking the dropdown and settings. This is where we're gonna look at all three sections. And what's nice about the new profile section that SellerAmp has set up here is you can create new profiles based on the type of settings that you wanna have, right? If you're sourcing in different marketplaces, let's say you have a UK storefront and a US storefront. You can have two different settings based on the different fees that the UK might charge versus the US. Maybe you're sourcing specific leads for a prep center or you have virtual assistants that are sourcing for a prep center. You can have certain settings with the prep fee built in versus if you're shipping things to your house to be able to prep yourself, right? You can have a different profile for that. So it's really easy to navigate. You can see one says active and then one is editing, right? So if it is active, that's the one that's going to show up when you're doing your sourcing, when you're in the Chrome extension, when you're in the mobile app. This active one is going to be the setting structure and the, the different uh, parameters that you have set. That's what's going to show up on the active one. And you can toggle between them very easily on all three devices. And if you want to add a new one, we're just gonna click new profile here. Right, and that's gonna add another title here. You can modify the title to whatever we want. And we can make any of these active at any point. If we wanted to edit one of the ones we created, or if we want to edit you know, our active one, we just have to click any of the edit buttons. And if you're currently editing, obviously you don't need to edit because it's already there. And basically editing these just allows you to change all of the general settings and the SAS panels, which is super convenient. And again, for a getting serious account, you can have up to five profiles, which is super nice, especially when you start to grow and, and scale up the business. There is a duplicate button, so you can recreate certain settings and then maybe give it a different title depending on the type of sourcing. And of course, if you have your max out on profiles and you need to create a new one, you can delete them by clicking delete. The active profile, you can't make too many changes, so you can't delete uh, the active profile. And obviously it is grayed out, the one that is active. Um, and it'll tell you that on all three uh, web accesses too. I'll tell you, this section really helps my business with efficiency because I do a lot of different sourcing, whether it's to my prep center, whether it's FBM sourcing when I'm in stores or products that I want to quick flip or just FBA. So I have a couple different ones that I want to set so I can toggle between settings instead of going into the, the, the fee area and having to delete out you know, my prep fee or the sales tax fee, whatever it is. This makes it super easy to toggle between and I don't have to try to remember what settings I had set up in the past. So if we move on to general now, scroll down a little bit just below profiles and we're gonna look at general. This is where we can modify a bunch of different settings. And some of the important ones that we'll talk about here is the home marketplace, right? If you have this set up incorrectly, so if I'm in the US and I have it set up to UK, it's gonna use all of UK's currency symbols. So if I wanna make sure that I have that set up correctly, Here's all the different Amazon marketplaces that you can select. So if I want the US, I'm going to click amazon.com. 
What is super nice about this new updated system is that everything auto saves. Every change you make, everything is going to auto save. So you don't have to scroll to the bottom like you did before and click save. Everything is going to auto save so you can make changes fast and efficiently. Your merchant token is an optional thing, but you can add that and then it allows SellerAmp to know when you're on a specific lead and then see your stock as well, which can be super helpful uh, with replenishables. Inbound shipping is pretty easy to calculate. What you wanna do is look at some of your previous shipments and you're gonna look at the cost it took to ship that shipment to Amazon and you're gonna divide that by the total weight of the amount of boxes that you sent, right? Let's say you sent three boxes that totaled $50 in shipping and then you're gonna divide that by the weight. So let's say it was $100, that's gonna be 50 cents per pound. And that's just a good way to estimate the amount of fees that Amazon's gonna charge uh, on top of whatever merchant fees that they have when you're selling products on Amazon. Inbound placement, you're gonna select one of the three here and all of the rest of the settings in this section. Again, you can read through them, you can modify them however you want, but they're pretty straightforward. If you ever have questions or are confused about a certain setting here, you can just click the question mark and that's gonna give you a hint as to what information is in this section. So home marketplace, your Amazon home marketplace that you list and sell your products on, right? So if you do have multiple marketplaces that you sell on, you can toggle between them very easily. And again, you can change that in your profiles, which makes it super simple. So I can have a US profile, I can have a UK profile. The VAT scheme mostly applies to outside the US. Uh, a lot of European marketplaces will have some sort of VAT scheme. Um, but again, you can just select the one that applies to you. Um, if you're from the US, it's gonna be not registered and then it won't add any of those fees in there. Buying criteria is super simple because this is how SellerAmp is gonna tailor their information to you to make sure that you're making the right buying decisions. So if you have a maximum BSR, that's gonna be, you know, it's gonna show you what products are not worth purchasing because it maybe sells too slow based on your criteria. And the additional cost section is super helpful because they have prep fees, miscellaneous fees, right? If you wanna add sales tax as a percentage, which is probably the easiest way to do it, you can do that here. And again, all of these things are auto-saving as we're filling them out, which is super nice. These default values are very simple and straightforward. The miscellaneous things, these are just some of the toggles that I like to have on. Keep on the search results. Again, we wanna know when we're looking at certain products, what does the Keepa graph show me, right? I'm all about efficiency, so if you can get more information quickly, this is what's gonna help. So again, if you don't understand some of these things, click on the question mark here and it's gonna give you a hint to what that means. The quick info is one of the sections uh, in the data that they offer. And all of these things are pretty important here, right? We wanna show profits, show profit margin, ROI, break even price, offer summary. You can turn on and off all of these things very easily. And again, once you click it, it will auto save. You don't have to remember to save it at the bottom. And then the next time you go into your Chrome extension or the mobile app, it'll automatically update to the new settings. And lastly, we're on to SAS panels. And this hasn't changed too much because SellerAmp has already put a ton of thought in the past into the different data points that all different types of Amazon businesses are gonna need, whether it's a wholesale information or helpful information for online arbitrage sellers, retail arbitrage sellers, all of it. So a lot of the headings are not too much different, but what you can do is click and drag to see where on the Chrome extension or where in the web app this is going to show up so you can be more efficient with your sourcing. And then again, you can toggle these on and off and all of these things are auto-saving. That is what is super nice about this new update in the settings is that all of these changes are gonna auto-save before you had to scroll all the way to the bottom and then click, uh, now we don't have to do that. So again, they have a ton of different options. You can toggle certain things on and off. If you have all of it toggled, it might be too much information, right? Information overload, but look through all of them and see which ones are gonna be most important to your business model. And you can obviously change these things as you evolve in your business. All right, so those are a lot of the major updates that SellerAmp has done to revamp their settings section, new profiles, and of course, all of the general settings. So hopefully you were able to follow along with this video so your settings are now set up for you to run a successful Amazon business. Before I go, I wanted to answer some free frequently asked questions. So let me jump into those. The first question, when I'm searching for a product, the currency is incorrect. It's not in the currency that I am used to seeing. How do I change that? This one's super simple. You probably have the wrong home marketplace selected. So if you go into settings, general settings, it's one of the first options. You got to change the marketplace that you're currently selling on, and that will fix all of the currency issues. This will also change what you see your subscription as, right? Whether that's in Great British Pounds or US dollars, whatever it is, that will update when you change your home marketplace. 
The next question is, how do I connect my SAS account to Seller Central? This one is super simple as well. If you're on the extension, it's real easy. You scroll down to the alert section and then you can click the button. It's gonna take you to Seller Central. You can log in. And then once you go back into SellerAmp, it'll have all of your settings from Seller Central inputted into SellerAmp. The last question is, why can't I see certain panels in my product searches? And this is most likely because in the SAS panel section that we talked about earlier, you probably don't have one of the features turned on or toggled on. So go back into your profile, edit the SAS panel, and then toggle on whichever section you need to be able to source for your Amazon business. And then go back to that product search, refresh your seller amp extension, and you should have access to that for your next product search. That about wraps up the video. SellerAmp has so many different options, but if you're not using the tool correctly, if you don't have your settings set up correctly, you're not going to be as efficient in your Amazon business. So if you're not using SellerAmp, get the tool. It's super simple. It's super helpful. SellerAmp.com and sign up now. You're going to get an email that's going to walk you through activation, and then you can rewatch this video to get all your settings set up correctly. SellerAmp is an awesome tool that I love using in my Amazon business, and I know you will too. See you later.